Okay, there's one. That one should be coming up. Yep, there we go. Fancy. Nice. Okay, so everything appears to be online. Really got to get that third monitor set up. I've got to force myself to sort of do that. Okay, let's get this going. So, for this, I want to take a... Go here, we're going to make ground level. We're going to do some, sort of like a sci-fi picture, I think. So we'll sort of come here like this. And then uh, take this, we'll do a gradient. So we'll go top to bottom, and I want it to be sort of purpley. We'll come in here with like maybe this purple. And then this dark might actually take that darker we'll play with it we will play with it. i want to do sort of a side perspective uh sci-fi theme sort of like a land speeder or something zooming across the zooming across the area it's sort of what i'm envisioning um okay that looks kind of cool i like the way those colors meet let's do on this one here I kind of like the way it looks, actually. The way they meet. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do something like this. All right, now, the thought here is we're going to put, like, a land speeder, like, zooming through the scene here. And I'm going to put dust clouds behind it, like it's sort of propelling itself through the scene. And then we're going to put trees and we're going to put mountains. We'll actually go ahead and start on the mountains now. So the mountains are going to sort of... Hey, Roki, how's it going? How are you? Let's go like this. Now, what I want to do with these, right now we're just going to give them an off color. This isn't going to be the final. Okay. Now, we're going to have to come up with a color for this. Bit oofed. Yeah, what's up? I like that. So, what I want to do is I want to make a way to have this. I want to build, I want the sky to be more red, right? So, let's go here with the sky sort of in this direction. And then I want this to be more, more purple, I'm thinking. I don't know how I want to do this. You're gonna have to give me a minute to figure this out here. I want to create sort of a very desert looking sort of futuristic feel and vibe to it, right? So that's, that's sort of what I'm shooting for here. Let's go here, let's choose this red. Nice, I like that red better. And then we'll come in here and we'll go with like, this purple and we'll kind of bring this up here like this because I want to do like multiple planets and suns in the background I want to make it look very sort of futuristic but I want the ground to be kind of what do you think purple oh that stinks I've had stuff like that happen before though where you you schedule like cutoffs and you schedule things and they yeah that sucks right yeah well yeah can you get it fixed? Can you call somebody? Oh, yep. Well, at least you got the phone, right? I, I know it sucks, but... I'm, tr I'm sort of confused on what I want to do with colors here. Give me a minute while I work this out mentally. I'm... I'm I gotta see it before I know what the heck I'm trying to do here. I want a very mystical sort of sci-fi looking. I don't know even what I'm going for here. You guys know me. I don't sketch. We have the button. Yeah. Well, hope it gets sorted for you. I tried to stream Friday Night Roadkill. I was so tired. Like, I legitimately was just whipped. I had to... I, I only streamed for about an hour. I had to call it. I had worked, like, two extremely long days. I just... I couldn't... I couldn't pull it out. 
Like I was whipped. How it goes though, right? Sometimes as an adult, you just... So here's how I wanna do this. I wanna make this look like a multi-layered mountain without making it obvious, if that makes sense. So the way we're gonna do this, I like the sky. I like the color of the mountain so far. I want this to be a little bit lighter. I'm thinking sort of like that, right? And then I want this color to come down some. Okay, I like the way that looks. Now, let's put, I wanna to try to make a sun in the background. I'm really going for a unique sort of picture here. So you guys are gonna to have to, I wanna go with some major, major color contrast. I want to make this look like there's a giant sun coming up right there, right? Then what I want to do is I want to put some more in like the distant backgrounds. Put some more like small plant, make it like look like there's multiple planets, if you will. Sort of hovering in the back and everything. Almost like a, um, sort of like Star Wars inspired piece, right? Okay. You alright, baby? Alright, let's go. Okay, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Now, I got to get the ground right. The ground is not right yet. We're working on that. And, you know, you know how I work. I mean, these colors, they could all just be right now. You know what I mean? Like, we're, I sort of work the colors out as I go. Ooh, now I like that color. Where is that color sitting? That's sort of a purplish red. Ooh. Man, I'm feeling that. I want to use that color. How do we use that color? Hey, thanks for the spark, buddy. Appreciate it, Rude. Alright, let's go back here. That's like a purplish red, right? Sort of like a... I don't really know how to... I kind of like that, though. What do you think? Now, do the mountains stick out too much? That's the question here. Because I'm trying to create a very... So, I want to show you guys something. For anyone who wasn't here last time, let's, uh, let's get in here. Let's look at the last scene we did, which was right here, right? We sort of had these really, really unique color palettes going on, which is sort of the same thing I'm going for here. I want to see if we can pull off another really distinct image. We need to do another gradient here. Yep. I'm going to do light, which is there. And we're going to go dark, which is going to be sort of... Sort of like this. Yep, I'm digging that. Okay, now what we'll do is I want to create sort of a light, a lighter gradient pattern behind the sun to make it look sort of washed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to experiment real quick. We're going to cut it, we're going to paste it in front of the sun, and then we're going to take this transparency tool. We're going to see what we can do with this we can kind of create the same effect. Uh, let's go undo that. Now, how does it work with the tool? Does it take the color that I'm currently using? Like if I do it with this color and I go to, cause I don't use this tool much and I go here, will it? Okay, so yes, it uses whatever color of the object. Okay, so that's fascinating. That's good to know. So let's try it with a white. Right? What do you think of the white? Or is that color just wrong? Maybe we'll try it with this one again. Kind of like that. Sort of has this ominous sort of glow over the mountains, right? And I know this foreground. Let's put something in this foreground before people sort of get lost in what we're doing here.
But I want to make a, a sort of alien looking tree. And I think the way we'll do that is we'll kind of copy in some parts like this. Flip this. Take this, sort of move it down. Super fantastic. Like this. Alright, we'll drop it over here. Let's go in here. Here. And then we'll drag one um, here. Yeah, we'll go like this. I like that. And then we'll just copy this straight down. I want to make this look like some sort of a tree pattern. Or some sort of a trunk, right? But I want it to be an obvious sort of alien looking tree. I don't want it to be a regular tree shape. So we're going to use some squares here. And then this, we're going to drag it up further. And then we're going to, and we're going to make another tree. So we'll kind of go like this. Oh, um, yeah, we'll yes. drop it in here. They sort of like it. And then we'll just copy it up here like this and we'll do a thinner one. So sort of like that. You know, we'll do something like that. Hey, Epic Jack, how's it going, buddy? Thank you for the host, man. Projecting working, yeah. I think it's too tall. I want it shorter. I think we'll go like this, and we'll shorten the whole thing down. So right about here, I think. Yeah, I like that better. So let's copy this into one shape. Actually, yeah, we'll copy it into one shape, and then we can just resize the whole thing. And I'm thinking to have it sitting like sort of right here, right? Let's make some other sort of like little trees and stuff. We'll we'll play around with it. And then what we'll do is we'll do like a little plant sort of off of here. Okay. But we want this to sort of look semi, you know, hopefully people see what it is. Now, the way I want to do this, I really want to set the, the tone here. I'm thinking this is going to be more like this. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you over there. Going good. We're, we're going to try to do like a futuristic. The only way I can describe this is um, I want to do like a sort of a futuristic, almost like a Star Wars inspired kind of scene, right? Where we have the speeder sort of driving through the scene. And I want to have like dust clouds behind it. So I'm going for a very cyberpunk sort of futuristic sci fi color palette. I want to do something really unique, you know? I don't want to do just your standard like. Uh, gold sands and you know we're trying to make it really interesting if you will something different I've been in the mood doing scenes lately and I want to do something different you know so the way we're gonna do it is this will be the speeder okay so the speeder let's just as a placeholder this will be the speeder I want to have like a speeder coming through the scene like right here and then I'm dabbling with, I want to put in clouds and I want to put like multiple planets and stars. I want to make it look sort of, um, I want to make it look sort of like a, you know, kind of like a Star Wars scene where you're kind of riding through the scene. And then I want to have dust clouds behind it and things like that. And this is going to be a tree. We're just playing around. No sketch. No sketch. We're just, uh, I don't normally sketch. What I do is I just kind of draw, and uh, whatever whatever happens, happens. I, I take input from you guys. If you have any input or any suggestions, feel free to throw them in there, and we just kind of have a good time. And this is sort of a bonus stream. I normally stream late on Sundays, which I probably will do a stream later anyways, but I've been sitting around today, and I feel like doing a little bit of a stream, so that's going to be... And I want to do weird trees. I don't want to do just normal trees, right? Well, let's see if we can make another alien looking tree. Well, actually, first, before we do that, let's play with the clouds. Um, 
Let's do like a moon off in the distance. We'll go here, we'll copy this. And we'll go and we'll paste in just the color for now because we're going to add some translucency to this and we're going to make it look sort of... There we go. Yeah, we're just having fun now. Something small. So if we want to make this semi-translucent, what we'll do is we'll go to like 70%, 60, 50. Let's say 50%. Uh, we'll go 50. Yeah. So it looks like it's sort of... It has that sort of a diffused look like further into the... You see what I mean? So then what we'll do is we'll do some clouds here. up and we'll kind of go past it down and over now the way I want to do the clouds is I don't want to do them in a normal sort of white color I want to make them match the coloring of the background if we can um, how do I want to do that I want them to be light but at the same time let's, let's go with a gradient on them Go with a gradient and then what we'll do is we will let's have the dark on top light on bottom which it is so now we'll adjust the coloring uh let's go here okay i like that and let's go with like a dark purple i think we got a new now that's too much that's way too much that's way too much hey amplified thank you for the follow over there in d live i appreciate that hope you're having a good day yeah i'm not digging that i'm not digging that let's just go back to a plain white and see, again, I'm trying to go for this really sort of, really sort of futuristic vibe, you know? And I'm thinking this is going to be sort of a tree here? I don't know. We might do some more trees. We may just take this out and play around with, like, maybe some different trees or something. I don't know. I don't know. Scenes are still sort of new to me, guys. So I'm still learning how to do scenes. Um, this was actually my first scene study right here where we did this one. And we're currently, um, I'm still sort of learning my way through them. So, not a professional by any means, but we are trying. Trying to learn. Trying to get better. Alright, so I want this one to sort of cut into the sun a little bit. And then I think I want another one to sort of... We might do... We might do four. We'll probably do... Top, mid, bottom, something like that. Lag. Oh, let me see. Not dropping any frames. You might just need to refresh it, Road. I know things have been a little... I think a little iffy lately would probably be a polite way to say it. But things have been a little... Here or there. And everywhere. Let's do something like that. That way it sort of covers the sun. Now, I want to do multiple planets. What do you guys think? Should we do multiple planets in the sky since this is sort of science fiction? Like maybe do... Do this for sort of like a moon shape. What other... What kind of planet shapes can we do? Let's work on the stars as well. So for the stars, we'll go with this. And we'll go with 30%. 40%. Okay, I like that. Now, all we're going to do is copy this thing over. And we're just going to resize it. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to create our own star pattern, literally just using circles. And we'll copy it up here. We'll make it smaller. All right now, watch this. Here's a cool trick. We'll take all of those. We'll grab them. We'll group them. We'll copy and paste them. And then we'll just move it and make sort of a scattered pattern. I normally do something like this and then just sort of move it around a bit. All right, and then take them all the way to the back and forward one. See that? And then you can quickly start making sort of your own little star patterns like this. Yep, perfect. And we'll flip it again. We'll just kind of come in here like this. All right, cool. So, yeah, we'll do something like this. I like this. I like the direction that's heading. So we'll go here again, and we'll just kind of... 
You know, and, and the thing with this is you want to be tasteful with this. You don't want to overdo the stars. That's where you got to be careful. Uh, let's go Hello, space cat. here. I like that. Okay, that's. I think that's a nice dusting of stars. Let's do this guy, right? Hey, monkey, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you over there, man. What do y'all think of this tree? Too weird? I'm doing really good, man. Doing really good. Just um, getting a bonus stream in today. I don't. I normally stream later in the day, but I figured, hey, let's get out here and get this done, you know. And um, so if you can't tell, I'm trying to do a very sort of science fiction sort of i want to do a speeder you know what i mean going through sort of like uh think star wars like a speeder zooming through the scene and we'll do like the silhouette of a rider and i want to have like a big dust cloud behind it and i sort of want to create this very sort of futuristic science fiction thing i don't know <laughs> i woke up i felt it i said let's do it right that's kind of how i work And so I'm playing with the colors because I want to go for a very unique sort of environment, right? I don't want to just do the stereotypical green, blue. I really want to play around with colors and make something awesome. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm just playing around. See, this was the first... I don't know if you saw this one, Monkey. This was the first one I did. This was literally the first scene I did where I was sort of playing with it. Because I'm sort of challenging myself this year to do more than just characters. I want to get into scenes. I want to get into other things. You know, things that are different from what I normally do. And so I really, really, really love the coloring of this one. Like, the, the contrast between the grays and the orange, I think, is fantastic. So I was like, you know what? I want to stick to that sort of vibe and make things look really fantastic in a way. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So you download it. Cool. Yeah. It's a cool image. Super cool image. Um, yeah. So we're just having fun with it. I don't know where this picture is going to go yet. I have absolutely zero plans or ideas what I'm doing. But you know what? That, that's part of the fun. Just getting in here and getting it done. So far, I don't know if I want the ground to be this dark either. I'm debating on changing that up. But we're going to get there. And now what I want to do is I want to put like mountains in mountains. And I don't really know how to describe that other than doing it. So I will show you exactly what I mean. Copy and paste style. Nice. That makes sense right there. Like a kind of a. Yeah, the, the shading works. It, it shows, like, the, the, the separation between the two, right? Hey, you know what? I mean, the thing is, is like, I, I, I can appreciate artists that really plan everything out, and they really sort of, you know, they try to know exactly what they're doing. I prefer to approach art from the perspective of, I want to I wanna sort of create it as I as I do it, you know? I want to feel it. I want to I wanna just sort of, I get an idea, and it's like, okay, how do we make this idea work? Like, how does this become a reality? And that's sort of what I what I do. And yeah, works out really good. I like it. Maybe we should add some noise to this thing. Ooh, let's do it. Let's add like 15% noise. I think that might actually look really cool. You see that? Can you tell there's noise on the sun now? It's it's there, but it's not. Oh, I actually really like the noise on there. It sort of makes the sun stick out even more. All right, cool. So I want to fix these clouds because I don't like the way the clouds are reacting. Let's we'll take a minute. Grab this dark purple and let's see if we can do some stuff here. I like that. Sort of a dark purple blue. And I want this top color. Maybe go a little darker. Yeah, I don't want them white. I don't want them white at all. That's something we're going to fix here in a minute. I want to have them almost blend in. 
right? I want him to be dark, but I want him to have a slight opacity. I'm just not quite sure in my brain how I'm going to do it yet. Yeah, I don't want him white. I want this whole thing to be really unique. And I have no idea how to draw a speeder. So that's going to be a unique experience into itself. Um, but we'll cross that when we get to it. Never be afraid. That's what I always tell people. Don't be afraid of art. Just do it. All right, let's... Let, I want to I want to check something. What color did we use for this one? We used a light purple and we used a red. What if we flip those colors? What if we do the red on top? And then we do the purple on the bottom. Does that make sense? I'm looking at where those colors are. I don't know about the purple and the red sort of. Do, 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 do. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to work that out a bit. All right, let's do this. Let's take this and go a little lighter. No, a little darker with it. Yes, and we'll go to the bottom and we'll go a little lighter. Man, I'm not digging it. Why am I having a hard time with these clouds? I want them to almost cut into the sun in a way. Let's move this tree out of here for a minute. The tree will come back. Man, I really like the way this is looking though. And I think we should take a couple of these clouds, make them really small, and sort of have them do this and have them kind of cut in. One of these days I'll learn the sketch, right? <laughs> so let's go with like a... Maybe we should just give it an opacity. No, opacity is not going to work with the sun. Let's go with 40%. Okay. So I kind of like that. We'll give it a slight turn as well. That way it sort of say right there like that. Oh, and we'll copy it up here and flip it. If anyone has any questions, any new folks here, if you guys have any questions for me, who I am, what I do, how I do it, programs I use, feel free to... Feel free to add some chat. We are all about questions here, so don't be afraid. And oh, the other thing is I want to do is I want to put multiple suns or multiple um I want to put multiple planets in the background as well. But right now I just want to work on these freaking uh, clouds. So what if we take this, we paste it in here? That actually isn't bad. Right now it's on a linear. Okay. That is not bad. That's closer to what I wanted. But the further up I go... Doing good, man. Yeah, everybody's just doing their thing, and mom's getting better, and, you know, we really can't really complain. How about you, bud? How are you doing? How's that kitty doing? Good, man. Glad to hear. Do those clouds make sense? I feel like they're too dark. Working too much. <laughs> I can't find. You know, I'm the same way, monkey. Like, I work. People have no idea how much I actually work uh, outside of content creation. And, um, you know, it's one of those things like there's days where you really want to commit to more and you want to do more, but you just can't, you know? I know exactly what you mean, man. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to make y'all tune in while I sit here and try to figure out how I want to warp these uh, clouds, but 
this is all sort of new to me. For those that don't know, I don't normally use gradients and transparencies. So this is another sort of new for me where I'm trying to like figure out how I want to do it. Okay, let's let's copy this through and just see what this looks like. So we'll we'll go ahead and we'll flip it. I don't know if I'm in love with that. You know what I mean? Don't know. Actually, I kind of like them. They almost look a little mystical in a way. Or is it just me? All right, so we're going to go more like 40% with this one. Input? No? Anybody? What, I mean, what do you what do y'all think? What are you seeing? Sometimes it's helpful to see what other people are saying. Do they look to me they almost they I like them. I'm just not 100% sure on the color. I like them though. They look very they sort of match the coloring of the 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 environment, right? Right. Okay, let's leave them like that for a bit. And I sort of toyed with putting a big building back here. Maybe on the back of the hill or something. I don't know. Maybe we should do more planets. Like a couple bigger ones. Back here. Forty. Yeah, are the best part of a sunset. Well, right, yeah, absolutely. I sort of want to give the illusion of multiple planets, but I don't know if I should change the coloring. Should they all just be one sort of monotone color? And I like the sun. You know what we'll do? We'll give them some noise while we're at it. We'll go 15%. We'll give them noise like we did the sun. Yep, I like that. Now we'll do... Let's play with the coloring a little bit. We've got sort of lighter. We could do sort of a... What would a dark purple? No, what would a blue sort of look like back there? This is all experimental, guys. I think most people know when they come here now that, uh, you know, things can get a little experimental here. Which is a good thing. That's how we learn. That's how we get better. That's how we grow. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, did you see the uh, the newest YouTube video, Monkey? I put some surprises in there. Okay, let's make this one sort of a... Uh... Yeah, I like that. I like that. Ooh, yes. There's some surprises in there. I want to see what you think. I'll give you a hint. Redid the audio of me talking because I, I was talking to some people and I almost felt too mechanical when I was talking. Um, so I wanted to sort of liven up the audio a little bit. But we added some bonuses to the audio and then we I put in an extra thing. I want to see if you notice it um, because I'm trying to, you know, get better at the video editing portion of everything. I was pretty happy with it. I think it's probably my best and most well done so far in terms of production value. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to a point where I'm pumping out at least, you know, three videos a week if I can. Trying. Trying being the keyword. Is this too, is this too cliche right here? I feel like it is. This, this sort of a crescent shape. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't like it. It's, it's too, you know what I mean? It's, it, I don't know. 
I sort of like it like this. You get the point that these are big islands, right? Or big, uh, yeah, I like them. Double? We could try it. Did it make sense what I was saying though? It almost felt too like, you know, you go to a hot dog stand and you expect to see a hot dog kind of thing. You know what I mean? You, I don't know. I don't, it just felt like it was a little too forced. Maybe we'll, we'll revisit it. Yeah, too expected. Like, I want this to look very out of, you know, distinct. So far, I'm liking it. I really, really like the color palette so far. But it's what I'm going for, so that's good. Double crescent, meaning more like what if we did a planet that was sort of destroyed in a way? You know what I mean? Like maybe sort of. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Let's do some textures on these planets. Hey, Chloe, how are you? It's sort of a bonus stream for me, Chloe. Not one of my normal times. Just kind of felt like getting on and doing some, doing some stuff. Good to see you. How are you? For anyone that is curious, we are going to start the weekly drawing challenge next week uh, in my Discord. And the way that's going to work is um, we're going to pick a topic and we are going to give everyone a week to draw whatever it is they want to draw. It can be any medium. It can be anything, anything you want. It can be traditional. It can be digital. It can be crayons. I don't care. We're going to pick a topic. And we're going to let everybody have time and let them complete it. And then uh, if you're comfortable with me showing it on stream, the next week, the next stream, we'll pull them up on stream and share them with everybody. I think it'll be good fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Just getting home from work. Good to hear it, Chloe. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, why not, monkey? I mean, you know, here's the thing. It's like, I'm not going to allow any sort of, of, of mean stuff. You know, I want it to be about, about art and fun. So I don't care who you are. I don't care what your skill level is. It's about just having fun. You know, if, if people want criticism and they're okay with it, fine. But I still want the criticism to be completely polite and constructive. I don't want any, I don't want any, you know, hateful comments. And, you know, I want to keep it a safe place for people to be able to grow. And again, I think it'd be cool to see what people can do with um, all different kinds of art. You know, all different kinds of art. Not just digital. Does that look good there? Kind of a glow around that one? Kind of like it. I kind of like the planet with a little more detail because it sort of... It helps it stand out a bit. I, I like that. I think we'll do the same thing sort of here. Maybe we'll try to do a ring. Ooh, let's, how would I do a ring? I'd have to mask it. But yeah, it's going to be good fun. I mean, and anyone's welcome to take place. Um, and again, if, if you want your stuff shown, great. If you don't, no worries. Got to make this make sense in my head. I'm going to try to do this with the pen tool. Or maybe I should mask it? I don't know if it's gonna be the best way to get the shape I'm going for here. I think we'll just draw it. I don't I don't really. There's other ways to do it, but I, I think this will be the most This will give me the best outcome for what I'm looking for. Alright, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna cut this from this straight away. Okay? We're gonna come to the top with this. 
and then we're gonna cut it out of that. Okay, cool. Now, what we gotta do is we then need to break these here. So we're gonna add a point here, and we're gonna add a point here. We're gonna break these two points, and we're gonna delete them. All right, and we'll cut this right here, and we'll modify said point. And then we'll just have to move this shape into what it is we're looking for. So we'll kind of delete this here. All right, good. Uh, delete these. And for anyone that's curious about this kind of art or they want to see more sort of time lapse or tutorials and stuff, I do have a YouTube channel that we are currently building. Uh, it has a lot of stuff on there. If you get my social information, you'll see the link for it. Um, good fun. We're, we're pumping out a lot of videos and trying to give people some inspiration on different things. So a lot of, a lot of information there if you're interested in how to make this kind of art. You do. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I need to update that link. That link doesn't need to have to see in it anymore. Because I got the, uh, I actually have an actual link link. Go 100%. Now. I like that, the ring looks good. So what we'll do is we'll play with the... Yeah, Chloe, you're welcome to join. Um, I'm gonna announce it Wednesday in Discord, okay? And I'm gonna have, there's a section in there called like weekly challenge or something. And we're gonna sort of move it into its own spot. And I'll post what the, um, what the topic's gonna be. And then everybody can just sort of get involved, so. Okay, cool. I like that. Space and what we'll do... Thanks for coming out, folks. I do appreciate all the support today. Aquas, how are you? How you doing? Good to see you. We got a lot of our... Our woes fixed over there on DLive. We switched up to Restream, and... It's uh, working a whole lot better, so... Shouldn't be getting all those weird lag issues we were getting at first. We're in Discord. So, in my Discord, there's going to be a section. We are going to have it right here. It's going to say Weekly Challenge. But what I'm going to do is... We're going to have a... We're, I'm going to make its own little group under art. And we're just going to call it Weekly Challenge. So, we'll have a discussion area. And then we'll have the actual where you guys are going to post area. I just haven't done it yet. But right below the art tab, there will be a Weekly Challenge group. And we will, everything will go right in there. And it should be good fun. I mean, you know, it's going to be for everybody. Again, it's not a judging thing. We're not going to be voting on anything. It's not, it's not meant to be that level of thing. It's just going to be for people to uh, draw and have fun and learn. It's really the best way to get better at this stuff is do it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yep. You can grab my Discord link. Yep. Yep. Noise to the ring? All right, let's try it. Right about there, I think. I like this so far. Looking pretty good. Yeah, you're probably in there, monkey. You're probably in there. Yeah. You need the link colored? You got it? Or do you need it? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. This is looking good. This is getting where I wanted it to be. Now, what I want to do is we're going to have... All right, so this is going to be sort of an odd-shaped tree, which is fine. We're going to sort of put this here. Now, I think what I'm going to do at the end of the day, and I'm going to show you guys why. Um, here we go. Hold on. There you go. Um, I'm going to combine these, and I'll show you why. When I combine these groups, what will happen is the color will be consistent from top to bottom. So the gradient will function all the way up and down. Welcome, colored.
Okay, so we need to sort of go here with it. I think we'll kind of go right there with it. And then what we'll do is let's play with the speeder since I don't really know what that's going to look like yet. Uh, so what I want to start with is sort of the smoke that will be behind the speeder, right? So we'll kind of come here like this and then we'll sort of take it over like this. I want to make it sort of a big cloud of, uh, let's say dust behind him. So we'll kind of go here with it. And then what we're going to do is for now, we're just going to make it white. It will not stay white. That's just what I want to do for now. And then what we're going to do, we'll make another tree or something to sort of go with it. And we'll kind of put these little, uh, little, little puffs of smoke sort of coming off of it. So we'll kind of come in here like this. Okay. We may do multiple layers of the smoke as well. I don't know yet. I'll have to wait and see how we want to handle it. But yeah, so I want this and then I want the speeder and I have no idea what a speeder is going to look like. You know what I mean? Putting CGI and 2D flash together, nice. I was doing a little bit of animating in Synfig the other day. Playing around with some Synfig. Um, I was doing like a water drip animation. Happy birthday, so. Space Cat. We're getting there. Should we do a land speeder sort of like um, something, you know, from Star Wars kind of that vibe? You know what I mean? Sort of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll kind of throw this up here like this. Yeah. And then what we're going to shade the, uh, we're going to shade the, the, the dust and the smoke and everything. Don't worry. I'm just trying to sort of get this where it needs to be. All right. So let's take this and let's modify the heck out of this. Let's, let's make a speeder. Now I'm going to warn you guys. Okay. We are going to do this just to, totally off the cuff there's no sketch i'm not using a uh, any sort of reference or anything so there may be quite a bit of tweaks here but i know generally what i want this thing to look like all right awkward very cool All right, so let's go like this, and this will be sort of the front of it, right? And then what I want to do, is I want to take this, sort of come like this, and go with a darker variation of this color, I think. Okay, so I like the way that looks so far. We'll kind of dump it in here like this. Now, let's do the silhouette of someone sort of Let's break this down. I want to take this point and I want to take that point and I want to move them. Okay, cool. I like that. Then we'll just do some sort of like stuff underneath of it. Like what would be, I guess, railings, bars, cables, whatever, what have you. We'll come down here. We'll complete it as another shape. Good. I actually like that as a whole piece, actually. I'm going to leave that as a whole piece. I don't know why, but I like the way that looks. Now, with these sort of speeders, the propulsion is coming out of the rear, right? Wouldn't it be like almost like rockets or something? Like, uh, I would think so. So we'll kind of move this here. And we'll kind of move this out. And we'll build it, and then we'll sort of combine them together. So let's do this. And then we'll do this for like the sort of the engines or whatever. I've been using that Natron some awkward. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, um, it is definitely a different method. Definitely a different method. These colors are not final, by the way, folks. So bear with me. But, um, I think if you learn that software well enough, you can do some really cool stuff with it. 
So what I'm doing is because it is completely different in functionality as opposed to, you know, the way After Effects works, I'm just taking my time with it and just sort of going slowly and just trying to do a little at a time. I'm not trying to overwhelm myself, you know what I mean? Because I feel like that will just sort of get you frustrated. There's a lot to learn with that one. So we're going to do a gradient. We're going to flip it. Go light. Yep, I like it. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. So we'll go like that. Now we're going to do a sort of... Um, we're going to make this look mechanical or something. Mm. It wasn't working well, huh? Go outer glow. Yeah. You got to be careful when you're doing, um, you know, projects like that because those things can get out of control quick. Like I know, like doing video editing and stuff as well, you got to be really careful with that sort of that sort of system. But it's the same thing; it can, you know, can really, 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 really become a problem very fast. Hey, monkey! Thanks for the follow over there in D Live, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Man, that looks cool. What do y'all think of that? I love it. I'll show you what I want to do. Check this out. Oh, I'm, I love that. Let's... want to give it a shot. Hey, man. You know, the thing is, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, Monkey. Like, I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, I think it's a good, stable platform. And, I, and, I, and I've been recommending it to people. You know, I think it's worth looking into. And what's cool about it is, it doesn't really take much to get set up. And then you're just restreaming and you're good to go, you know? And because Mixer's not, you know, they don't mind the whole restreaming thing. It's like, well, why not? <clears throat> I had 12 games. Let's have that out the front, and then we'll do something like this out the, I mean, out the back, and we'll have this code come out the front. And we're going to do details on the side of this, don't worry. I'm just sort of getting the, the part built, and then we'll sort of play with the how we want it to look kind of thing. Can I mask this, I wonder? What am I thinking of? What am I trying to do here? So if I go like this, and I cut it and put it on top, that's exactly how I can do that. Oh, all right. So if I mask this over this, yes. It's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, cool. Now, you see, okay, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Ice cream. In the farm when I was using Adobe. Oh, okay. All right, Aqua. Hey, Diddy Hunt. Thank you for the ice cream over there on D-Live. Appreciate that. We're doing sort of a sci-fi theme here, folks. Sorry, I'm sort of uh, bumbling around. I'm, I'm sort of, I don't want to say learning as I'm going, but we're sort of, uh, we're sort of figuring this out on the fly, if you will. If anybody has any questions for me, feel free to ask. Okay, I like that. So we'll do a, we'll take this here for this shape. We'll do one at the top and we'll do one at the bottom. And I'm, I'm using a lot of flat shapes for this one, but I really like the, the way it's going to look. And then we'll group this thing. 
How about the cold where we are? Um, it's, I mean, it got really cold the other day for maybe two days, but to be honest with you, monkey, we don't get a lot of cold here. It's, it's sort of, um, we'll get it, but it doesn't last very long, you know? And so for us, I live right on the beach, right? Area. So we have a lot of warm water, warm air, warm water coming in all the time. It's sort of breaking up the uh that breaks up a lot of the cold fronts that come in but we sort of we don't really get a lot of the long lasting cold that a lot of other people get once in a while it'll hit us and it'll hit hard but it, it's few and far between man okay look at that we made this cool looking little engine thing right how do y'all like the uh the little propulsion on the back. I think it looks really cool. It almost looks um fantastical in a way, right? It's freezing there, is it, did it? Yeah. I know most people are like polar plunge right now, pretty much. So for anyone who's just checking in, we're making this scene right here. And I want this sort of uh speeder shooting across the land, okay? Um, is sort of what I'm going for. And so right now we're sort of drawing the engine that's gonna be on the speeder. And we're just, we're just going. We're just, uh, for those that don't know, I don't really sketch that much or anything. So we're just kind of freehanding this. This is the way I prefer to draw though. It sort of helps me be creative on the spot rather than being so restricted to like a specific thing. So it's just the way that I draw. Not that it's right or wrong. Just the way I do it. Yeah, in a normal January, February. So it's like we've not seen an ounce of snow yet this year, monkey. And you're figuring it's it's February. By March, we're almost out of winter here. So if we haven't seen snow by now, the odds of us getting it, slim to none. In fact, I dare say at this point, we're probably not going to get it at all. Okay, let's do it like this. I've got an idea how to make this look really cool. I think. Funny how I can see things in my head and it's like, oh, that'd be really neat. But then I have to make it to even fully understand what the heck it is I'm trying to do. Here, cut it, paste it, cut it, paste it, and cut it. I want this to almost be like a, a mount here. So we'll go inside of this, we'll take this shape, and we'll treat this as sort of like a mount like this. Okay, I think this might look really neat actually. And then we'll take this as sort of a, a piece inside of it. All right. That'll sort of lead up into the, you see that almost like a, we're trying to go very mechanical here, almost robotic in a way, but not quite. Okay. Then we'll take this, which will sort of hang on to, I'd say right about here. And we'll give this whole mechanism sort of a slight turn like this. It is a machine. That's exactly right. And people always ask, and I say this a lot in my streams, but it's so true. People always ask, they're like, how do you learn this stuff? And it's like right here, what I'm doing right now. This is pretty much sketching, you know? You had a bit and you hate it. Yeah, just play games. Hey, nothing wrong with that, Diddy. Um, so my streams are pretty, I'd say 99% of the time they're going to be art, Diddy. Uh, once in a while we'll do some game, but it's almost always art. Um... And I think really for that, it's like, uh, I, I really enjoy it. So for me, it's sort of my relaxation period. In fact, I've almost gotten to the point where I enjoy drawing more than I do gaming, which is bizarre, but, uh, it, you know, it's sort of the way that I've, I've built my, my, uh, you know, allowed myself to grow. I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, there's sometimes I wish I could take some more of the time that I draw and turn it into game time, but. You know, hey. <clears throat> okay, so I, I'm liking the direction of this. And what's cool about this is it is vector art. So if anyone doesn't know what that means, essentially we can rescale this thing without any quality loss. So right now what we're doing is we're making it at this size. We're going to put some more trees. I sort of considered maybe doing like a derelict building in the background. Like maybe a... Um, like a ruined tower or something? We'll see. 
don't I only just come to D Live. I was on Twitch and YouTube, just want to give it a try. Right on. So I'm currently streaming, restreaming uh, Diddy to three platforms. I'm on I'm streaming to Mixer, YouTube, and uh, D Live with a restream capability. And um Mixer is my largest following, but I'm trying to build the followings in the other areas as well. So I'm sort of, you know, focusing everything there. Because I'm I'm trying to grow my brand and my art. So for me it's more about exposure than it is um you know, it's it's sort of <clears throat> Yep. I use Restream, yep. Restream worked great for me. Yep. A lot of people ask like what I use to restream, restream. I tried Caster, but Caster was giving me a lot of problems with like um was giving me a lot of problems with uh um D Live. Like it was it was stuttering a lot and it wasn't sort of it wasn't sort of a clean, efficient sort of stream, right? It was hitching a lot. It was having a lot of drops. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So I decided to go ahead and try out Restream. And glad I did, because so far, so good. We're going to move that off screen, because I don't know if we're going to use that or not. So I want this right about here. I'd love to do a blur effect behind it. I don't quite know how I would do that, but I've got an idea. All right, so let's do... The silhouette of a writer. I would like to do maybe... It makes sense that this would be the cockpit region right here, right? So, let's go... Well, if you have any specific questions here, uh, Diddy, let me know. Like, about DLive in general. If I if I can help you. I'm by no means a, um, a veteran here or anything, but I've been here for a little while, so... If I can help you at all, let me know. I want to do something. What kind of stuff do you sketch, monkey? I saw you sketch in um, Photoshop. What do, you, what do you sketch? Like characters? Do you sketch like scenery? Or does it sort of... It sort of depend on the mood you're in. Yeah. And you know, that, that right there is essential. That right there is essential, what you just said, Diddy. Because it's one thing like... Once you've started streaming and you understand how streaming works, it is pretty much the same no matter where you go. There will be some few variations between how to get alerts on the screen and things like that. There will be a little bit of variation, but once you have a basic understanding of it, it's really about just getting a grasp of how the one works you want to go to and then just moving forward is really what it turns into. Layouts, graphics, woodworking designs, right on, man. Oh, you do woodworking. Nice. I got to design my daughter's... Uh, Birthday party invitations. My wife's been hounding me on that. I better do it. I'm gonna get in trouble. <clears throat> Alright, I wanna give this detail without giving it too much detail. Trying to find my mixer. So my mixer is just same, Jer Henning. So it's mixer.com slash Jer Henning. You'll see it in my little social thing that's scrolling Diddy in the right-hand corner. The social thing is showing, right? Yeah, you'll see it down there. It's like, there's my D Live. You'll see my mixer. It's got all that stuff. It sort of rotates through there. It's got my YouTube information. Um, it's all right in there. I branded everything exactly the same. Yep, everything's exactly the same. So, we got a new thank you for the follow. follow. Thanks, Diddy. Yep. I don't know what my brain's doing. We're literally just sitting here making shapes, but I like the way it's working out. I think it's looking really cool. We're gonna go like this and we're gonna power duplicate. Boom, 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 boom. All right. 
So we'll take you, 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 and you. We'll group it. And we'll sort of drop it right here. Awesome. Hey, thank you for the follow there on uh, DLive as well, Diddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're trying to grow over there. Um, I've only been on DLive for, I'd say, probably about two weeks. And so far, so good. I mean, I'm getting a lot of growth, and it, it's been really wonderful. The people have been really nice, and I like it. It's a very, very stable platform. Not bad at all. You know, the thing the thing with it is, is there's a lot of people, I think that, that um, a lot of people have a little bit of, you know, they see people get on a new platform, and they, you know, in a week, they've got a 1,000 followers. But a lot of that is they're coming from different platforms and whatnot, right? So they're bringing their audience with them. And they may be on another platform where they have 40,000 followers, you know. So it's it can be easy to get jaded when you see that kind of growth. But that's not a normal growth for most people, you know. So just be happy with your growth. Be thankful that people want to come out and watch your stuff. And just, uh, you know, just keep, just keep doing it. It's just like YouTube. A lot of people, they want to know, how do you get successful on YouTube? It's content. You've got to make content. You have to constantly make content. You know what I mean? It just takes time. The number one, because I've got a friend who is very successful on YouTube. He, um, a real life friend, and he, he does it for a living now. He literally makes more money than me, and he, uh, he makes YouTube stuff all day. And he told me once, he was like, literally, dude, the thing that separates me from everybody else was just content, content, content. You know, he said, you've just got to get the content out there because the way those algorithms work and stuff is they want to see persistent content. And it's the same thing with streaming. The only way people are going to find you is if you're making content. That's it. You got to be persistent and you got to get that content out there. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So you're building it up everywhere. Yep. And you just got to keep pushing, keep pushing. You know, it's, it's, um, people won't find you if you don't do it. And see, for me, it's a little bit slower as an art streamer. We don't tend to have quite the rapid growth that some of the, the game streams and stuff do, but I'm happy with my growth. I like where I'm at. Um, you know, and um, I realize it could be a little higher if I was streaming something else or, you know, but I'm, I'm happy with where I, where I'm at. So I'm, you know, I do my thing. I, I appreciate the people who come in and we just go from there. Let's take... <clears throat> Cut this. Over two years? So I've been streaming now for about, let's see, um, a little over a year. A little over a year. Um, I started on Twitch, um, and I, I, I decided not to stream on Twitch anymore once I realized that they had the... The clauses, <laughs> I see you, monkey. Um, once they had the clauses about like uh, not being able to restream and stuff, you know what I mean? I was like, no, I, I want to be able to spread my content anywhere I go. So once I realized that I wasn't going to be able to restream and eventually grow my brand there, I decided to stop there um, and take it elsewhere, which became Mixer. And love Mixer, great people there. I've really enjoyed the growth there. And then I decided. I'm pretty stable on Mixer. I want to start growing elsewhere. So that's sort of what I've done is just started branching out a little bit. Um, and DLive. And of course, I want to build on YouTube. So might as well get some live stream content going on YouTube. So. I was thinking about putting some like small boxes here, but I don't think that makes sense. I don't think that makes sense. No. All right, so let's do the rider. You know what? I have something that might look really cool here. Did I import it? I didn't. Give me one second, folks. I have an asset that might look really, really cool here. I just thought of this. Might be perfect for this. Uh, assets? Yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try this. I'm curious what this will look like. So these are assets, in case anyone's wondering what the heck this is. Uh, these are basically like stock image files that you can sort of 
manipulate into into place right so what i would do to make this work is maybe choose the same color and go slightly darker with it kind of thing and sort of put it in there just to get like smaller details and that may not necessarily be the detail we use um but we could do stuff like you know this and all these are, are pre-built vector assets is essentially what an asset is you know monkey i tried fortnite once and i just it is not my cup of tea you know for those that want to play it, I applaud you. I just, mm -mm, not for me. Well, I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to copy this out. Sort of looking at these shapes, I never actually used them. Which feels weird, but I just never have. Right? Pretty cool. What is this? Here's some weird shape. I might have to might have to play with these some to get a feel for them. Okay, that shape sort of fits. I like that one. So we'll take it to this color and then we'll just take it a little darker. Actually, you know what? We'll take it to that level of dark. Because it just sort of fits in there, right? Yep, I like that. Alright, so now. Alright, Diddy, thank you for those follows. Uh, good luck to you. Um, I'll see if I can't catch you live. Are you going to be streaming here more? Or I'll see if I can't pop over one day and take a look at you. See what you're up to. that now let's do a um sort of want to make this contour follow this i think it would make it look even cooler yeah it did we'll give you you well, actually you know what that didn't look bad maybe a piece that's sort of coming up here see this is where when you just design it can you can do some really cool fun stuff like this I love doing stuff like this. Okay, all right, I'll come check out. You'll see me in there. Thanks for stopping in, thanks for the follows. Not bad for a speeder, right? Let's do a, uh, there would be some sort of a windshield or something, right? go and we're going to do our stereotypical sort of glass so the way i'll do this and i'll start with like a 30 percent we'll take it and we'll put it in front of this that way it's sort of concealed behind here right and then we'll sort of modify these points a bit and get it where we want it sort of like this okay take these guys rag them up i don't know where i want this to sort of land i think we'll kind of go like this Okay, yeah, I'm digging this. Let's split this up to make it look like maybe multiple seats in here or something. That's good. I like it. Want this flared a bit more, down a bit more. Okay, good. I like it. That will do here. Thank you, Diddy. Have a good one. Hope you have a fantastic day.
Ooh, you know, we're not going to do white. Thank you for the lemon. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, maybe we will do white. I think we will. I was going to try to do a different color, but I'm sort of liking... Yeah, we'll just kind of go like this with it. I kind of like the way that looks. Liking it. All right, so take care, Diddy. Have a good day. Thank you, Monkey. Thanks for being here, man. And thanks for that follow over there on DLive, bud. Good to see you. Sides them, sort of put them right here. Look like it's sort of like a joystick almost, right? Like sort of steering that through. Okay, good. Now, we're just going to do a silhouette of someone. Uh, but before we do the silhouette, I just want to group this. That way we have one collective shape, you see? And I'm thinking about making the speeder sort of like right here. Right? Sort of this size. I think that'll look good for the image. Now, let's play around with the... Um, Let's play around with the, I'm thinking like the, the, the smoke that's going to be sort of behind it. So I want to start with the ground. I want it to be a ground level sort of smoke and I want it to sort of rise up like this. We're going to experiment with a couple different ones here because I don't want to cover the vehicle. I want to make the smoke almost look translucent in a way. I just don't know how yet. Okay. Let's go with white. We'll take this and put it in front of this. Good. Now we'll go with like 40%. All right, cool. Now we're going to manipulate some of these points. All right. Now I want it to look sort of multi-layered. So I think the way we'll do it is we'll bring the speeder forward just a bit to make it look like it's sort of kicking up the dust, right? And then we'll take this and we'll see if we can't do another one. Maybe a smaller one underneath. So we'll go here, 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 or like this. But then we'll draw the line like this and have another one back here like this. But what's cool is you're not really going to see these shapes because they're going to be sort of um, hidden. I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so we're going to get rid of the opacity here in a minute. So we'll do this and this. So we need two shapes. We need this one for the foreground. I'll show you exactly how I'm doing this. All right, so now we go to 100% fill and we give it this color. We go back to 100% fill here and we go to this color. And you see what that's doing is it's sort of um it's creating that sort of two-tone uh dust cloud in a way and we'll make it a little smaller and bring it up over the vehicle kind of like this perfect now i want to modify these points because i want it to sort of fall off back here so we'll kind of take it like this and off good and this i think we need to be more bubbly something good i like it i like it now watch this we're gonna do a couple sort of small little clouds of color sort of coming off of it so kind of go here 
Yeah. Very cool. What I wanted. Now we'll take this one and we'll make it this color. Make it sort of look like just little dust particles. Right? And then we could take this one here and put it in front of this. And we can sort of come down here with it, make it smaller. And again, this isn't really a pattern or anything, folks. This is just sort of, you know, experimentation is really what this boils down to. Experiment, experiment, experiment. I want to do one more thing here. Don't want it to be that big. I want it to be longer, though, sort of like this. Yeah, perfect. And then like a small one, sort of a long one, and then... Another sort of a long one and then tuck it into the ground sort of like that perfect so what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna go back to this color but I think we're gonna go slightly darker with it um, maybe lighter I don't know well, I kind of like that I like that a lot actually yeah, yeah okay we'll copy some of this down here and all we're doing now is just sort of adding, like, you know, small details, little things to make the picture sort of pop. Now, you see that? You see what we just did? I hope that makes sense. Um, it's, we can get rid of these now. It sort of created this, you know, clearly it's, it's moving. Now, the other thing we could do is if we wanted to, we could put, like, streaks behind it. We could have it sort of uh, zooming backwards, right? And the way I think we're going to do that, notice I said think. All right, let's go with... A bright purple, 20%. All right? Because I have no idea what this is going to be sort of like yet. Think it right there. Below the engine. I sort of want this to give the effect of like a... It's sort of propelling itself, right? And we're getting very sort of cyberpunk here. But I like the idea of it. So we'll go like this. We'll cut it and we'll paste it inside. Kind of like this, right? Oh, yeah. Kind of like we do with the glass. But in a way that it sort of... I like that. That actually looks really cool. That's... Surprisingly, very close to what I was envisioning. So you see that now? We, no, we sort of have this impression, right? That it is... Which is, which is perfect. Boom. And I love the ground. I am absolutely loving the ground. Uh, one thing I want to do is a couple small details on the ground, though. I want to make, like, a small rock here. Sort of like this. And again, we're going to fix the ground, I promise. We're, we're not really there yet. We're going to make the ground all sort of one color. Like, one color palette. Cool. I'm digging it. I don't know about this tree though, y'all. We're gonna take the tree out of the out of the out of the picture for now. Okay. I like this. What about something back here in the in the um in the mountains area? Too much? Any impressions? Any input? I don't know. I'm sort of looking at it, trying to see what I can envision, if any. See, I don't want to join this rock yet. But I'm thinking about doing a rock right here, and maybe some sort of a plant right here. Yep, I like that. That looks cool. That'll look good right there, because it'll be sort of going through, like breaking through the, uh, and it's not over the, um, the vehicle, which is what I want. Perfect. Okay, so let's go with um, the trees. Now, in order to do the trees, let me pull up some references on trees. We're not going to copy anything. I just want to see if we can do something weird. Uh, any weird looking trees? Like something that would be unique? What would an alien tree look like? I don't 
try some stuff. Let's play. We'll start with the tier tool. We'll do something like this, and then let's maybe do some like drips off of it. Maybe we'll do the shape in it. Bear with me, we're in full on experimentation mode here. So I'm Google searching some trees here, trying to see if we can come up with something unique, something that would be interesting. Uh, let's go with, I mean, trees are pretty ho-hum. How do you make them look sort of alien? Huh. All right, let's do this. We'll just make ground clutter. Uh, let's take this. Kind of go like this, 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 and this. And we'll give the stroke. Yeah, we'll do stuff like this. Uh, layer expand stroke. Now it's a shape. Awesome. Perfect. So we'll go like this with a smaller one and we'll take it over into sort of this space here. Yeah. I kind of like that. It's sort of alien looking, right? Could be a plant, could be, I mean, who knows what, right? Which is kind of what we're going for here. Alien. Um, now, as far as trees. Trees are one of those things, it's funny, because when we think of a tree, right? We all know what a tree looks like, but we all have sort of a preconceived, oh, this is what a tree looks like kind of thing. And so it's, I'm trying to break out of that a little bit. Uh, what do we got here? Regular trees, pine trees, oak trees, 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 trees. Maybe we'll go back with the square shape and do something unique. Yeah, I'll try it. Sorry guys, this is where sketching would be useful. I want to make it the same way I just did. But we kind of went like this. Okay. Yo. All right, awesome. I think we'll just carry this up. Instead of making them straight out, why don't we try to do 60 degree angle branches like this? Flip it. Yeah, we can do something with this. Uh, let's do, let's start with a square. See what that looks like. And then we'll copy this over and we'll do a rectangle. No, I don't like the square. I like the right thing. I like the original idea iteration. I think we just need to improve upon it a little bit. Okay. Yep. And we'll do a big one here at the top like this. And we'll sort of have it off center, kind of like we did in the original one. Kind of have it here like this. I know. And then what if we do this? What if we make it look sort of, uh, what if we make it look sort of like blocky in a way? So if we come in with small squares like this, 
and sort of do things like this to make it look sort of like a blocky shape. I guess pattern is the only, only word that really comes to mind. Yeah, now I'm digging that. I like that. So we'll shrink it and see what we can do is we can sort of move these shapes around like this. And sort of put them where we want them to create that texture. I'd say texture. Texture is a bad word, but you know. Yeah. We'll group this. Okay, so I like this better than that one, personally. So I think we'll kind of put it here. It almost looks like 8 bit in a way, which is kind of strange. But that wasn't what I was going for vibe wise, but I'll take it. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of copy this over here as like a, maybe a plant or something. Okay, we'll copy another one over here. We'll give it a flip. We'll make this one smaller. So it'll sort of sit there like that, right? What do we think, folks? How are we liking it? Y'all digging it? love the way this looks over here that is just cool all right so let's take this and let's group it perfect that's exactly what i wanted ungroup this group this and then group it we'll copy this up there so we have it ungroup black group Why is this not working with that? This is part of it, right? Huh, why is it doing that? Huh, okay. All right, we'll copy this over then. I don't know why that's destroying that gradient, but we'll, we'll do it like this. We'll go like this. Then we'll take this, we'll copy it, and then we'll paste the gradient style. Weird. I don't know why it was breaking the gradient. It should not, but for whatever reason, it is. simple we'll kind of go here we'll move this in a bit okay I'm digging that we'll take you combine it with this uh, so copy this again and paste I wonder why how it doing that okay uh, this I'm gonna take all this like this and group it yeah see so now you see that now the whole thing sort of melds into one color which is really what I wanted I don't like these shapes on here I thought I would but now I'm looking at them I don't like it and I'm not sure I like this ring here either. How did we do this? Was that just a Gaussian blur? 
Yep, got him blurred one. Got him blur, one, and close. Okay, cool. Now, it's starting to come together. Things are starting to look pretty good here. Um, I think what we'll do is, give me a second here, thinking about it. Let's move this cloud up. I don't want it so close to the um, that tree there. This cloud, I think we need to redo the gradient just a bit. So we'll kind of come into this scope here. That's better right there, perfect. So we've got the two planets, We've got the sun, the two planets, we've got the stars. Um, I think I want to break up this color of this one just a bit. Like maybe to a... Um, I don't know. What do we think? Maybe a red? Let's do that. Because we're trying to get that obvious perception of, uh, you know, multiple... Like it's sci-fi. So I'm loving this behind the speeder. That just looks way, 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 way cool. I wasn't sure at first, but I really like that. Okay, so now we'll draw, we'll draw somebody here in the cockpit, or driving it. We'll just do a silhouette. We're not going to do a heavily detailed character. And we'll have him sort of speeding through the scene. Then the next question will be, what do we want to do with the, the hills in the back? Do we want to add, like, any sort of detail? Do we want, like, maybe a ruined building or something back there? Or, like, an old tower or something? <laughs> All right, this needs to come back to the front, so we have my logo on there. Loving it. I love, I'm really liking this. It's looking really cool. This is very much so what I wanted. Like when I when I started thinking about this, it was like, okay, how do we how do we turn this into a reality? Awesome. We'll kind of do it like that. Okay, now. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, how long have we been on? An hour and 37, not bad. Because we are going to be streaming later tonight. I just wanted to get a little bit of a daytime stream in today. I felt like being creative, and so that's what we're doing. I think this needs to be smaller. Or like, maybe it would actually be up here. No, I kind of like it where it was. We'll just slide it back a bit. Right there, looks good. Okay, so let's work on the silhouette of someone sort of sitting here. It's going to be, again, it's not going to be heavily detailed. We're just going to sort of create this, this perception of someone sort of sitting here holding the controls. And the way I'm going to do that is sort of a quick... This is a style I've done before with, like, um, different things. And he's going to follow the same sort of color palette. We're just going to sort of put him here like this. Kind of move this down in like this. I'll show you. Be sort of quick. We just want to get the obvious that there's someone here. Uh, do some hair. So, should he have anything in tow? Or would it just be... Whatever it is, kind of thing. Alright, we're gonna lock this. We can click through. We're definitely at the stage where we need to be able to click through this. I like the hair. I like that a lot. And what we'll do is we'll do like a sort of maybe a ponytail blowing kind of thing to give this effect of behind the glass like this. So maybe this guy's like a raider. Maybe he's a bandit. Maybe he's something that's, I don't know. Leave that up to the imagination. See what I mean? We've got this sort of 
blowing out the back here like this. But I think that'll look pretty cool. Like maybe it's a headband, maybe it's a piece of hair, who knows what it is. Oh, too big. We'll kind of go right there with it. Yep, I like it. Because it sort of breaks that wall there, right? And now we'll do sort of the body. And it's just going to be sort of a sitting all the way down sort of style. So we'll come up here so we can sort of do a gut and then like the chest up like he's sort of in that pose. Perfect. Now we'll do a leg. And you can see this is just sort of an outline style, right? We're not doing, again, we're not doing, this is not meant to be a heavily detailed thing. But I really like the way it's turning out. So we'll kind of go. Here. We'll kind of go like this. And we'll kind of go like this. And then we'll drag the elbow in place. I like this. Yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. So on the head, let's give him a nose. But let's do it in sort of a creative way. We'll make it small, you see? And we'll reduce the size of that chin a bit. Because again, look, we're looking at a very small detail in what is a very large picture here. So again, we're not worried about overall clarity or anything here. This is just meant to be sort of a... A, uh... A representation that there's something in this seat. What that is... We don't know. Give that a spin. Okay, we'll just kind of ride this down on the arm like this. Yep, perfect. But we don't know what the story is here. Pats or Rams? Honestly, I don't even give a hoot, Deja. I don't have any real interest in either team. Neither one really bothers me. Who do you want to win? I don't really have a love or, or a hatred for either team. So, like, I could I could sit outside and just be, oh, well, you know what I mean? Rams, you know, a Pats fan? I know a lot of people aren't. Funny at work, we got, like, one dude that's a Patriots fan, and, like, <laughs> that's it. Gotcha. What are you thinking of this, Deja? Are we hitting the bill? Are we getting close? I've been sitting here grinding away on it, pulling it out of my head. <laughs> I appreciate that. I've done a couple. But thank you, sir. All right, so we're going to take all this. I'm going to sort of put it here. I want this to just sort of give the impression that there's somebody flying it. Should we put anything else on the speeder, Deja? And if so, what? Or do you kind of like it the way it is, you know? like it yeah I'm trying to think like we could put like boxes 
like crates, we could put I like this effect right here, dude. You see this? Like this uh, trail behind the speeder. I love the smoke and I love the trail. Love them both. I think they are perfect. They're actually my favorite part about the whole picture. Because sometimes, like you'll you'll look back at a picture and you'll you'll kind of focus on what's your favorite part of the whole image. That's my favorite part, hands down, hands down. I love it. Really like the way that looks. Okay. Okay, so let's do, let's experiment with like maybe a crate sitting there. Like maybe a, a pile of crates or something. Like merchandise maybe. So we'll kind of come in and we'll do something like this. We'll see what we can do with this. We'll have to get the shading just right. But what we'll do is we'll make them lighter. And we'll go... Here. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Right there. I like that. Yeah, 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 We'll go even darker than what's here, right? And then watch this. We'll draw another one behind it, and we'll go with a different sort of shade, right? So different size packages. So we'll do something like this. Maybe this guy's like a, a space delivery man or something, you know what I mean? We can let people formulate their own sort of, who is this guy, what is he doing kind of thing. I like it. All right, cool. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we may or may not add more to it later. It's hard to tell, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks for now. So we're gonna save this out as uh, 2019, and we'll call this um, sci-fi scene study. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and export this out so we can throw it on like social media and stuff. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to be streaming again tonight, guys. Um, I uh, I just wanted to get on here and get creative for a little bit today. Make this a little bigger. I should just be able to drag. Yep. See that? Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to cut this out. We're going to export this as um, desktop. We'll go sci-fi scene study. Fantastic. Okay. We're going to get rid of this tree because we have it now. Awesome. So here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it is. It, it is, Deja. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get some good news on that soon. But we'll, we'll work on that. Um, I promise. It's... Sort of frustrating, but we're, we're getting there. A little at a time. A little at a time. Okay, so um, I'm going to see who I can host. Because I'm going to take a break for a bit before my stream later tonight. And, um, yeah. I think we're going to go drop it on Beckus. Beckus is playing some games. Let's go drop it on Beckus. So, guys, um, thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you for... Uh, Thanks for being here. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the host. Thanks for everything. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we will be back tonight with another stream. We'll do something completely different. Uh, I just felt like being creative for a little bit.